Good morning and a happy December 7th. It is um, about 8, close to 8.15. I'm running a little bit late. I'm just sitting down with breakfast, but I decided to like do all the dishes and stuff and I don't know why I did that, but it was bothering me and so I had to. Um, but uh, yeah, I am sitting down for breakfast. I, I'm going into work in a little bit, um, full day, and then actually I'm meeting a friend of mine for um, kind of a knit night tonight. <clears throat> She's a new knitter, but um, it's really exciting because we're going to go to the Sow's Ear, um, which is a shop not too far from here, and they do like a late night knit night, and I'm really excited. So, yes, I don't know what my bangs are doing. Actually, I do know they are curling pretty badly, but I've got I've to gotta fix that at some point. I don't know. Oh, it's just been a morning. <laughs> So I don't think I'll have time to open seven of these little cute yarn balls, but I think I'll open one. Um, I picked one from Carolyn. So I will show you what is in this cute little bright package. So this was in package number one. They weren't labeled, I just picked one out. And I got a cute little stitch marker. And 13 grams of Zauber Ball single ply. Yay! So I caved and I opened one of Lisa's too. <laughs> and this is a really pretty um, color. I actually think that this is her H2O color, which she used. That's one of her own um, dyed, hand dyed yarns. Um, she is Abacus Dye Works. And she used this colorway to knit my Afternoons in the Library socks. Um, which was a test knit for me for one of, my, one of my patterns and I also gave away a skein of this um, on YouTube. And speaking of afternoons in the library, look what socks I'm wearing. Sorry about that, my um, Oma called right when I was telling you about my socks. So yeah, those are my afternoons in the library socks. I have a coupon going right now um, for any of my patterns which are by Jennifer Runtog, the Driftless Knitter, um, for 10% off if you use the code DRIFTLESSXMAS, so Driftless Christmas. I just didn't want to spell it all out. Um, and yeah, I'm getting ready to go. Um, I need to get a wiggle on, as my UK friends would say. And um, yeah, it's cold. It's about 15 degrees outside right now which is negative nine degrees Fahrenheit. I looked it up. Um, I mean Celsius, it's not Fahrenheit. It's 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm gonna bundle a little bit, put some hand knits on and get to work. Um, it's a bit of a, I did change too. Um, if you noticed that from before, I was wearing a hand knit sweater. I was gonna show that to you, but um, I today is kind of a day where I'm up and around and moving quite a bit um, and I thought that that super warm hand knit sweater while absolutely wonderful and um, very toasty would probably be a little too warm today so I took it off and put a different sweater on not hand knit but still cozy um, yeah just a little better for the situation and I pulled my crazy curly bangs back because I just didn't want to deal with it this morning. <laughs> so, okay, here we go, Friday, woohoo. So it's actually not too bad. Um, it's pretty bright and sunny, which really helps. Um, you can probably see the blue sky behind me. Um, it is, it's kind of cloudy though, and like, like dark clouds, like stormy clouds in front of me. Um, I don't know, is that, is that to the west? I can't really tell. No, it must be. Yeah, that's to the west. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna snow later. I didn't see snow in the forecast, uh, but I suppose you never know. It could just kind of form and start, start snowing. But anyway, I am on my way to work. I have about 20 minutes to drive. The car is still kind of cold, so it's making pro protests. It's protesting a little bit, but it's okay. It'll be 
It is almost five o'clock and I will be heading um, to the sow's ear after this for a knit night. But um, I just wanted to tell you about a customer I just had in, um, actually three customers technically. It was a woman and her daughter and her granddaughter and um, the woman was from Germany and well so was the daughter um, who presume I'm thinking lives here now. But um, so they were talking in German and I, you know, she kind of apologized for uh, switching back and forth and I said don't worry about it like I grew up in a household that spoke German and English and it's fine she was like really excited and she's like do you you know do you speak German I was like very little <laughs> but I did get to use um, my very limited German to say thank you and Merry Christmas and and good night and goodbye as they were leaving because the there was a little girl um, a very little girl who was like putting their coat her, her, putting her coat on, I can't talk, um, and looking at everything, and so it took them a while to leave. So um, we said goodbye about three times, and um, yeah, so that was that was kind of cool. I, um, I, I enjoy, I don't know, I enjoy hearing people speak that language because it's one that is dear to my heart because I connected with my Oma, so yeah. From now on our trip will be miles away Here we are as in olden days Happy golden days of yore Just got home from the knit night. Um, it's about 9.12. I filmed a little bit at the sow's ear, but not like a whole lot. Um, but that's okay, you'll get to see um, a little bit. Uh, Steph and I were there, that's my friend Steph. Hi Steph, I know you watched these two. Um, she, we were there for a few hours, actually. That went by really fast. <laughs> um, and I did get a little bit of yarn to knit one of my cousin's little guys a sweater, so I'll show that to you later. It's just kind of a, it's, it's not like super exciting, but um, I think it'll be cute. And yeah, it's really cold in here. I've still got my big chunky cowl on. It's 61 degrees in the apartment. And I think I'm gonna, even though I'm gonna go to bed in just a little bit, probably an hour from now, I still think I'm gonna run the heat for a little while because it's so cold. Um, yeah. but anyway, I am hoping to get both December 6th and December 7th up within the next couple days. So I hope you guys are seeing this not too far in the future. And thanks for being patient. Um, yeah, this Vlogmas journey has been a little slightly turbulent, but um, I think it'll be, it'll still be fun. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.